The FCC, the Federal Communications Commission, decided all by itself that radio and television were the only two parts of American life not protected by the free speech provisions of the First Amendment to the Constitution. I'd like to repeat that because it sounds vaguely important. <laughs> the FCC, an appointed body, not elected, answerable only to the president, decided on its own that radio and television were the only two parts of American life not protected by the First Amendment to the Constitution. And why did they decide that? Because they got a letter from a minister in Mississippi. <laughs> a Reverend Donald Wildman in Mississippi heard something on the radio that he didn't like. Well, Reverend, did anyone ever tell you there are two knobs on the radio? Of course, I'm sure the Reverend isn't that comfortable with anything that has two knobs on it. <laughs> but hey, Reverend, there are two knobs on the radio. One of them turns the radio off, and the other one changes the station. <laughs> Imagine that, Reverend, you can actually change the station. It's called freedom of choice, and it's one of the principles this country was founded upon. Look it up in the library, Reverend, if you have any of them left when you finish burning all the books.